Hey YouTube, it's Daniel here. Today, uh, as you can see, I've got the blue Nessie mic right next to me. So I'll be a little bit louder today, let's hope. I'm not going to lean in towards it, I'll just have it next to me and talk to you all. I'm, um, just in case you didn't know, I'm using the Joby Grip Tight mount on my tripod. Uh, I've got a power source between the phone because I'm using the iPhone 5S, a five, not my 5S, 5 camera uh, and the Blue Nessie mic. We've got a power source in between so hopefully it works as you can you, I'll just lift up the Blue Nessie mic. You can see the bottom's lit up here and that just means the mic is powered up. Normally it, I mean it, it works fine with the iPad um, I mean it's not made to be working with the iPhone but I think it'll work with the power source anyway we'll see and that noise you can hear in the background is my Michelin Freeze puppy she's barking because there's a bit of traffic out the front and yeah you know hopefully she stops soon and doesn't interrupt this vlog anyway hopefully Everyone's having a great day or night, depending on what time you're watching this. In Melbourne, it's about 3 p.m. on Wednesday. The whatever. <laughs> I suppose it's the 19th, Wednesday, the 19th of Feb, 2014. Okay, I was going to get. Hey, stop barking, you. Come on. Oh. Might have to bring her here. So just hold that thought. I'm going to leave the camera running and I'm going to go get her and bring her here. Okay. Here we go. Hello. She's still here. Hopefully you didn't mind the dead air then. Well, it's not exactly dead air because you could still see this blank, blank thing filming. But I was doing stuff in the other room. Just had to attend to something. I do apologise. Anyway, I may go through and edit all this out, edit it out anyway. What I had been doing, just one take, one file, and uploading it to YouTube. But we had about th three minutes then with uh, nothing happening, so that's not too good for the old viewer. Not to mention, it'll take a lot longer to upload to YouTube. Anyway, what can we talk about today? We're actually talking about cricket, probably wouldn't interest a lot of people in other parts of well other, some other parts of the world who do play a lot of cricket and are interested interested in cricket um but we can talk about something general to most sports because most sports have some kind of umpire or referee and big decisions in the game can change the outcome of the game the result and that's really unfortunate. I mean, one day it won't be, I mean, it's half happening now, um, mainly in tennis, mostly in tennis, should I say, where a machine decides upon whether a ball is in or out, no ball, a wide, or, you know, all that, whatever other <laughs> rules, offside, all those kind of things. Um, yeah, so one day, in the not too distant future everything will be decided upon probably perfectly with technology um, at the moment it's a transition phase in some sports as I mentioned tennis it's nearly taken over the job of the umpires or lines people but it's still not that fast in decision making that's why you still have to have lines people out there to be, be able to make a decision instantly and now they have the challenges with you know certain calls and the player can challenge or the, uh, I'm not sure what the umpire can I don't really pay attention but it'd be good if the umpire could challenge as well but it, it slows things down you need to be able to speed up the decisions so that it can happen in real time then you won't need on-field umpires you'll just have um, a siren or whatever tells you that there's some kind of foul or out of play or wide or no ball or whatever 
and that it won't be too far away. I mean, the processes are getting that fast that they'll be able to do that. So it won't be long, I'll say within five years, I think most slots will be totally governed by electronic play. So I think like contact slots, um, basketball, it's basically non-contact, it's like rubbish because it's a contact sport. Football, you know, like Australian rules football and rugby and those things, um, you might still need to have on-field umpires so you can see the actual infractions take place, the physical body-on-body -body infractions. That's um, going to be hard to replace with the technology that we're seeing at the moment. It's going to be hard to replace that with this kind of technology. But in the future, there will be things like robots and all that who can take the place of an on-field umpire. You still need an on-field being of sorts will have to be there. Either that or you have you know, hundreds of cameras at every game from every angle, but you might find that um, a robot of sorts will be the way to go. That would be interesting. Write in the comments what you envisage will happen in the future. I think that there will be robots instead of umpires on the more physical games like football and that where you need an on-field umpire in basketball. Uh, other sorts which can be governed by off-field umpiring, electronic umpiring, will be like that, like tennis and things like that, where you don't need it. There's no body-on-body -body contact, so you don't need an on-field umpire for that reason. Anyway, I think, as I said, will be within the next five years, the off-field umpiring will be taken care of 100%, pretty much, in the next five years. Um, probably the next uh, 10 years, about 10 years, 10 to 15 years, you'll have robots fully, will take over the on-field fully within 10 or 15 years, I think. Anyway, I might leave the vlog there. I'll probably do some editing to edit out that bit where I had to go away from the camera for a little while, three minutes, I think, I think it was. Anyway, take care. Hope everyone's having, you know, a uh, well happy in whatever they're doing and wherever they're doing it. Please leave me a message in the comments, something you'd like me to talk about, because I can talk about just about anything, because I did, not because I did, I was, did well at philosophy, and could talk on most topics, and even if I don't fully understand it, I can work out a way to talk about it. We can unpack your question, query, statement, and take it from there. Anyway, Take care. See you next time. This is Daniel. Bye for now.